Grania Whale, or Grace O'Malley, was the famed pirate queen who was born in the 16th century in County Mayo. She was the daughter of chieftain Dove Dara, or Black Oak. As such, she was born with the sea in her blood. Well, possibly the most famous story is that when she was a young girl, she wanted to go on a trading expedition to Spain with her father, but she wasn't allowed to go. So instead she snuck onto the ship and by the time they discovered her, it was too late to turn back. So essentially they were stuck with her. The O'Malley's were powerful by land and sea and Grania Whale was no exception. In the 16th century, women weren't allowed to have careers as such. So while they could get jobs, they were usually menial and very low paid. So most women were housewives and still largely ruled by their husbands or their fathers. Her first marriage to Donal O'Flaherty resulted in three children. However, at the age of 30, Gráinne became a widow. Gráinne, being the woman that she was, takes over his clan. She then married Richard Burke. The Brennan Laws were statutes that governed everyday life in early medieval Ireland. They are regarded by modern scholars as quite progressive in their treatment of women. So while Irish society was male dominated, women had more freedom, independence and rights to property than women in other European societies of the time. After one year of marriage, she invoked the Brehan Law, where she could dismiss her husband and end the marriage. Although she dismissed Richard, she kept his castle, Rockfleet. According to tradition, under Breton law, if you were married for one year certain, then a divorce could be made. So legend has that O'Malley called out from a window in Rockfleet Castle, Richard Burke, I dismiss you, and this had the effect of ending the marriage, but in spite of it, they still remained lifelong friends. Grania is captured while plundering. She spends time in the Dublin jail. Her ex-husband Richard Burke goes to war and she is released to quell the rebellion. When Sir Richard Bingham is appointed English governor, he sets out to destroy Grania and the O'Malley clan. Grania continues to rule the Irish seas, and when Hugh O'Neill plans to try and reunite the Irish, Grania is by his side. For her part in this, Bingham's brother kills her eldest son. With one son dead and another held captive by the English, Grania makes a bold move. She writes to Queen Elizabeth I requesting an audience. Against Bingham's advice, Elizabeth grants Grace an audience. Queen Elizabeth was renowned for her strong will, her intelligence, her popularity with her people and her personal character. So this is quite strikingly similar to Grace O'Malley's own personality. So perhaps that's why they were able to come to such an amicable arrangement. And the arrangement was that uh, O'Malley's son would be released, Sir Bingham would be removed from power in Ireland and Grania's cattle and land would be returned to her and in return she would agree to stop supporting the Irish rebellion. So uh, Queen Elizabeth granted Grania the freedom to return to her own home country and carry on with her career which she described as maintenance by land and sea but in reality was more like what we would call piracy. And um, so Grania's son was released and Sir Bingham removed from power, but her land and cattle were never returned to her. So she then considered her agreement with Queen Elizabeth broken and she returned to supporting the Irish Rebellion. After she returns to Mayo, Grania continues to be a terror on the high seas. It is easy to see the influence that the landscape of the west of Ireland had on Grania Whale. Her wildness and fierce nature and her sharp mind all conjure images of the land that she lived on and the sea that she loved.
an independent woman who lived her life as she wished, yet the story of Grania Whale, the Pirate Queen and the She-King of Ireland was all lost and forgotten, erased from our history books at a time when her ideologies were considered too radical, too dangerous. <laughs>